Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm gonna try to make this video pretty quick because I don't have very much battery left in my phone. Um, but today we're gonna talk about how to find your purpose. And so I wanted to create um, this little 21 day challenge. I got a call from somebody really close to me the other day and she asked me um, how to start. She said, Danielle, you seem like you found your purpose. And you know, she said, she said, I'm just so jealous of you because I don't have mine figured out and I don't know what I'm supposed to do. And that's okay, but that inspired me to make this video. Um, so we're just gonna go through it quickly and um, have no fear, you are going to find your purpose. I promise you, you have one, even though it doesn't feel like it right now. Okay, so what you're gonna need to do this challenge is you're gonna need um, some paper and a pencil, a journal, it can be a notebook you already have, it doesn't matter, you're just gonna take a little bit of notes every day. Um, it's gonna be really fun. This is going to be fun. It's not gonna be hard, okay? So have a piece of paper and a pen. In fact, you need it right now. So get out your paper and pen, pencil. I'll wait for a second for you to find something to write on. Um, you can just grab an envelope or something or a, a post-it note if you don't have a journal and you can transfer it to a journal later. Um, so hopefully you have something to write on now. Okay, so what I want you to do is take a minute to think about what would you be doing if you were living your dream life? And I don't mean for a job, okay? Forget about job. If you had $10 billion in your bank account, what would you be doing? So I asked her that question and she said, and obviously yours are gonna be different, but she said she would be on the beach jogging, sipping coffee, reading, and talking to friends. So that's a great start. So think of like four to five things that you would be doing if you had $10 billion in your bank account. If money was absolutely no object, what would you be doing? So write those things down and I will give you a second to kind of think about it and write down like what would you be doing? Would it be shopping? Would it be just messing with hair and makeup? Would it be working out? Would it be um, spending time with animals? Would it be traveling? Um, would it be art? Um, would it be painting? Would it be building things? So anyway, I'm just trying to throw out some ideas. So we're all gonna have our own, but maybe it could be gardening. I just looked outside, it gave me an idea of gardening. Um, so think about what those things could be. That if money was no object, what you would do. Write them down, at least five things that you would be doing. All right, number two. This one you're gonna do after the video is you are going to meditate five to 10 minutes a day, twice a day. I don't care if you've never meditated before, it doesn't matter. Um, a lot of people say, well, Danielle, it's easy for you to meditate because you're so happy. No, 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 no. I'm happy because I meditate. It doesn't work the other way around. You meditate to find happiness. And the thing that meditation does, and this isn't really a meditation video, um, I will put, so there are three people that I recommended to her and I'm gonna recommend them to you if you're beginning out on meditation. I would say start with Doxy Meditations, I'll put a link, Jason Stevenson, and Michael Seely. Those are three really, really good guided meditations. They have all night meditations and they have short meditations. I prefer guided meditations. And I highly recommend if you're new to meditation to start um, with the guided meditations. And let me tell you why, what meditation does, okay? What meditation does is it basically kind of clears your brain. So our brains are like computers and we have a lot of programs in our computers. And what meditation does, it's kind of give, gonna give you some space to write some new programs for your computer. And so in those five to 10 minutes that you're meditating, you are going to focus on those five things that you just wrote down. You're gonna focus on them and you're just gonna feel so happy and grateful and just imagine yourself living your best life. Forget about money. Don't worry about how you're gonna get there, okay? We'll get to that. 
Just focus on living your best life and doing those things that you really want to be doing. And just be so happy and grateful for five or 10 minutes. And you wanna do it right when you wake up and right before you go to bed. That's the best time to meditate because your brain hasn't really gotten into like the stress of the day yet. And so you can kind of prime your day with being grateful for that best life that you wanna have. And then also, you'll go to bed in that. You'll go to bed in that state of gratitude, which will prime you to wake up in a state of gratitude. Even if you don't feel it right at first, just keep doing it. And I mean, just practice like, sometimes there, you can do like breathing techniques, like those people will walk you through it. This isn't gonna be a meditation video, but five to 10 minutes a day. Okay, so that was step two. Step one, write down five, at least five things that you'd be doing if you had $10 billion in the bank account. Number two, meditate on that lifestyle for five to 10 minutes, two times a day. Number three, start looking for synchronicities. Now, I told her when she asked me, she goes, well, yeah, I would be doing those things if I had a lot of money and I had a good job doing those things. And I said, well, see, that's the whole trick of law of attraction or manifestation or the universe or God or faith or whatever the heck you want to call it. It's all the same. You can call it whatever you want. The beauty in that is your job is not to figure out how, okay? Your job is just to figure out what. What do you want? What lifestyle would you live? What makes you happy? If it's, you know, whatever those five things are, your job is to say, hey universe, this is what makes me happy. The universe's job or God or faith or law of attraction or whatever you want to call it, their job is to give you the how, okay? You don't do the how, you just do the what. And your job is to meditate. When you meditate, that's gonna create this space for the universe to start giving you signs. So the universe or God or whatever you wanna call it, you're gonna start paying more attention to if you're watching a TV show and you see something that reminds you of one of those five things, write it down. If you're driving somewhere and you see a billboard that reminds you of one of those things, write it down. If you have a dream, and this is a really, really big one, oftentimes God or the universe speaks to us in our dreams. So if you have a dream about this lifestyle, write it down. And so keep your journal with you at night so that if you wake up in the middle of the night and you have a dream, because like me, often I'll have a dream and I'll be like, ooh, that's a good one. I have to write that down when I get up. And then when I get up, I forget it. I, I remember that I had a dream that I wanted to write down, but it's like foggy. And sometimes you can just like pull out your phone and like type it up really quick in your notes. And it's really crazy because every time I do that, there's always way more that I wrote down that I have, I don't even remember. Like when I go back and read my dream journals, I don't even remember having those dreams. You guys, we have so many dreams that we forget about. So this is really big. So I would just look for signs. You might get a phone call from somebody. You might see something in the mail. Just look for anything that reminds you of that lifestyle. And after you do this for about 21 days, you're gonna start developing a path. That how is gonna start manifesting. And then the last thing you're gonna do, number four, and I kind of already said this, is you're gonna journal. Every day you're gonna journal um, all of your little synchronicities that you see. I don't care how stinking little it is. If you're getting a new roll of toilet paper in your bathroom and you see something on the toilet roll that gives you some kind of synchronicity, write it down, okay? These are all clues that are gonna lead you to your path and to finding your purpose. And just remember, your purpose is going to be something that you, it, it led you to be able to lead, lead your, live your dream life. If you're not living your dream life, then it's not your purpose. You shouldn't be doing something that you don't like to be doing. So you should be able to make money, living the life that you love, doing what you love, okay? That's how you know if you found your purpose. Um, and then also I wanna say this, this is the last thing I'm gonna say and then I'll end this video, is do not expect the universe to lay out the whole path, okay? This is the whole thing about faith, is this is kind of what I told her. Okay, my camera just shut off, sorry about that. Okay, so my phone is totally about to die. I'm really gonna try to get through this. <laughs> and so, um, no, no, he's trying to lay right in front of the camera. Here, you lay right here. Okay, 
That's okay. You can lay right there. <laughs> All right, we'll go. We'll just knock it out like this. Okay, so, um, so the universe. So faith. That's where we're at. So faith is like jumping off a cliff and knowing that let's say there's like this little bird that um i don't know it's a really strong bird right and it can it's going to come pick you up so right when you're about to jump off the cliff this bird comes and picks you up and takes off with you but the thing is they're only going to take you like a few feet and you still have room like you could still go back to the cliff if you wanted to aka safety aka your old job your old lifestyle whatever's comfortable you could still go back but if you keep going and still just keep falling, another bird will come and pick you up and take you a little bit further. And so you're never gonna have the whole path laid out for you, right? Ever. You're just gonna have faith and knowing that every time you're just about to feel like everything's gonna fall apart, you have faith, you stick with it, and the universe, God, comes through and gets you a little bit further and gets you, and you just keep getting a little bit further and a little bit further. And pretty soon you get really used to living like that and it just kind of becomes natural to live in faith. And so it, it appears that you have it all figured out and everybody thinks, oh, you've got, you know, you've got it all figured out. I gotta tell you guys, I don't know what I'm doing from one day to the next either. I'm just trusting God every day that it will be laid out for me and it constantly keeps working out. And I'm just so blown away by all the miracles that I've been experiencing. So anyway, I hope this video helped you. Give this a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the little bell. And also make sure you check out my song that I did kind of a tribute to Ralph Smart. Um, it's also available on iTunes and um, yeah, good luck with manifesting. Let me know what your five things are that you wrote down on your paper. I'm really curious to see. Love you. Mwah.